looking back at the weekend, disappointed not to get a result, but the performance has plenty of positives to come from it. Yeah, um, I feel like the team played extremely well um, and we really gave a good account of ourselves against the uh, top side in the league and it's a tough place to go to so even though we didn't get the win there's still a lot of positives to take from the game. There was a period in the first half when it was one all, and there were chances that, that fell our way that didn't quite go in. Is it those little fine margins at the moment that the difference between beating those big teams and maybe just sitting just outside the playoff places? Um, I feel like um, that was just it was just unlucky a few of them chances, but um, maybe on another day they go in and then we, we win the game, but. Um, they're a top side, so maybe that's another reason why they didn't go in. So um, we're just looking to build on the performance and hopefully get a win next time in the league and in these two cup games coming up. Was it a tough battle for yourself out there against two physical centre backs from their point of view? Um, yeah, um, at, at times um, it was kind of like a fight, but that's what you have to do sometimes when you go to them kind of places. But um, yeah, I'm happy with. Um, the performance of the team. Yourself personally, yeah. you've had a nice run in the team yeah. of late. Have you found that and has that been enjoyable for you to, to prove yourself over other games? Yeah, and I think um, I've just made sure that I've always uh, been ready for when this opportunity um, comes. But I feel like, um, yeah, I've done well. I feel like there's still more to come. Like I keep saying, I always want to improve and um, get better. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how it's going so far and my progress um, at Forest Green at the moment. Ruben came back from injury at the weekend. Do you see that as added competition and welcome competition or do you see it as something where maybe you two can team up now and start working together as a unit up front? How do you foresee that going? Um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy that he's back, um, back fit because um, Ruben, I like, he's someone that I like to play with. Um, he's good for me. He's like, he brings players into play. And he's good to, um, to be up there with me. Yeah. He's a good leader around the team as well, isn't he? You see him on training, you see him during the match, he's always talking, he's always giving advice and things like that. That must be a massive help to, to young strikers like yourself. Yeah, yeah he's, a top, he's a top guy and um, Ruben, Ruben uh, really helps me as well. So, yeah, it's good to have him back and hopefully we can link up in the upcoming game. Looking forward to Wednesday night then, the game against Arsenal's under 23s. Mm. Um, how do you approach a game like that? I suppose there's players in this team, like yourself, like Reese, um, like Theo as well, that have played at this level before. Oh, but to, do you think you'll yeah. be more adapt to it than, than maybe some other teams would be? Um, yeah, but I feel like almost every player comes through that setup at some point anyway, so I feel like we just we don't know what the game is going to be like exactly, but... What we do know is that we'll approach it um, with 100% commitment and hopefully we get the win. I think a draw will be enough to see us through to the knockout stages. Mm. Last season we made it that far. Is it an important competition to get progress to keep that momentum going when it comes to the league and, and also a cup game next weekend as well? Um, yeah, I feel like progress in the cup is key um, for the whole squad because uh, sometimes the players that haven't got a lot of minutes, even myself at times, um, it's good for them to get competitive minutes and um, the further we go in it, the better it is for the whole team. And also we'd like to win and go to Wembley, hopefully. But we've still really seen this season that while it's not a big squad, the depth there is, is really high. So if you take players out, you bring players who maybe haven't been getting much game time, it doesn't affect it too much. There's, a, there's still a strong team putting out there, isn't there? Yeah, because I think every player here has um, got, got a real good quality. so. I feel like at any moment anyone could play in any game and with the standards that we have in training and um, it shows up. Freddie Jungberg in the opposition dugout, he's an absolute icon of the game, he's part of the Invincibles team. Is that, is that a nice thing to see on the other side, like seeing those kind of icons? Yeah, of course, um, he's a legend but we still approach the game um, professionally and just want to win the game and that's the main thing. Yeah. He's been saying in the press this week that there's a lot of games for his young team. Um, I can't remember the exact stats, but I think it's five games in, th in 13 days or something like that. Um, so he's looking at rotating, but it's equally as busy a schedule for you guys. You guys have been playing 
Saturday for a while. Yeah, so hopefully um, with them having more games than us, we can use that to our advantage as well. Do you think they'll be hurting from that defeat against Cheltenham in the last stage of this com- uh, competition? Um, no, not really. We just always look to the next game, and then um, we see we see um, we see the next game, and we approach that, and hopefully we just try and get them in. Finally, Reese Brown, good friend of yours, nominated for Player of the Month. Really nice to see him. He's been on fire, hasn't he, recently? Yeah, 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 he's been on top form, and I'm just really pleased for him. Um, he's a top player, and he's really, really um, showing what he's about at the moment, and hopefully this continues. Three goals. Sure, you want to add to that tally with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully I do. Um, but yeah, as long as uh, the team's doing well, and everyone's um, everyone's happy around the place, it's good.